Howdy, 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 and all those other things. I'm... I was like, oh hey, there's a fucking flat door there. Oh, this is... So this thing... So, I'm, I'm wondering here, you know. I don't expect people to actually give me answers on this shit, but like, that is the, you know, whatever, the, the bridge or whatever, right? This thing exists in every single realm, and this is just the bridge to the realm. So that hole that I put in the realm, in the, the thing, does that hole translate to all of the other ones? I'm curious. And listen, in other words, does this thing exist in all the realms? So let's say, you know, going to um, uh, what is it actually called? Um, shoot. How do I, how do I already forgotten this? Asgard. So if we went to Asgard, and this is supposed to be like Zeus's, like, you know, personal little library and shit like that, like, does this exist in all of the realms? And so then, like, he's currently, let's say, like, sitting in a chair over there and, like, reading one of these scrolls or whatever. If he puts one of those scrolls there, does it just exist? Or, like, does this exist in all the realms? So, in other words, if I'm moving this and I go to Helheim, does Asgard, like, you know, whoever's hanging out in this room over here and he's in Asgard, does he come with me? So then it's not, like, multiple realms stacked on top of each other, like, multiple bridges stacked on top of each other, but it's just one bridge that's interconnected beyond all of the realms? Like, I'm wondering how that exactly works. And I might be putting way too much thought into a, you know, video game that I'm not supposed to be paying attention to, but, you know. Boy. Before. When you. Saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? If we're in Helheim, we should be able to just go through here. Or not. Mowhead, why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Boulder's vulnerability. Boulder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Oh, he has the, um... Oh, 
Huh. He has his, uh... Mistletoe back. Previously, he missed it. He didn't have the mistletoe... Um, little shaft thingy. I thought they lost it in their little, you know, struggle when he went, you know, turned into a douche canoe. I'm... I don't, I'm wondering if... I don't, I, I don't know, like, did they... Did the animators fuck that up? Or is that... Is that something I'm supposed to notice? I am super curious and concerned and confused and did I just notice something? Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo -gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slide. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> 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 well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. It's adorable that they're working together again. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, the price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. That's adorable. Well, they're working together. My and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. They're working together now. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brog and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Oh, hey, that's what I Which wanted. Are... Dunno. Armor's pure legend, and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. You expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konun's guard. And looky here, a Conan Scarred Entry Stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. It's adorable. Sure, I'm open. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim Realm Tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. The Huldra Brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Alright, so this is strength, defense, and vitality, which is pretty nice. But it feels right. 
especially for this. Been so used to building on my own all these years, almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is. I forgot how much easier it is to smelt scap slag with someone else gauging the temperature. Strength, runic defense, and vitality. I mean, the runic would be nice, but like just getting like. A, I mean, that's a solid chunk of defense. I think I'd go with this one. Even though, like, I kind of... I like the design of this one, but I like the defense of that one. What's this? A big award. That's just pretty. If I'm not mistaken, Ooh, now my is out. gonna sing now. Oh, upgraded max. So blades of chaos can't be upgraded any further. Leviathan Axe, I don't know if like there's a way to like continuously upgrade that or not, but yeah. Oh hey, I can upgrade tier stuff. Oh, because I've hardened. Yeah, and like I don't really need to do this. It's just I kind of want to just because it's available to me. The fact that it uses the hardened steel makes me not want to do it. But at the same time, like, I'm looking at this, and, like, this is the only piece. The, the belt is the only piece of this armor that doesn't have some form of, of benefit or boost to my, my stuff. All the other ones, we at least get, like, a green somewhere. And then that's without any of my, you know, enchantments on it. I, I think overall, I would probably, you know, gain at least something, but I, I think I'd still lose out on enough strength that, um, I, yeah, I don't think it would be worth it. But at the same time, I mean, like, this entire armor is just based on strength. I mean, that's what I've been kind you of, like, now. farming at this point. Now it's you're just talking. how much... I can, you know, squeeze out of. Oh, I was really hoping I could get a new resurrection stone. This is fun. What the hell? Damn. Son? What'd you forget? I thought I sworn I had uh, some uh, um, artifacts to sell, but guess not. Probably saw some of this stuff. There. Something for the boy. Alright, see it? Um...
Where is... I'm still missing an artifact and a chest here. I thought that maybe the, the fight counted. But it doesn't. Because I got like a legendary chest in the uh, Helheim, but again, like, that doesn't. Whenever I was over here, this doesn't count any of that stuff. So I'm still missing an artifact and a chest in the mountain. But maybe I'll come back to that later. Um, oops, that's not what I want. Track. So, that's not helping. Um, I get there. This one leads up that way. So which one leads this way? Maybe the one over here? No. Let's just go here. Hi, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Some people didn't call Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right. Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> Amir, what's uh Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language there. Um, he believes that he's been bewitched. Open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Oh. Frustrated, 
Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Hmm. Neat. So, wherever I am, it does not count yet. Cool. Hmm. Kind of expecting it at fought here. What are you looking at, boy? Is that a raven up here? Why'd you run over there and stand there? Atreus, here. Yes, father. Wait, why here? <gasps> Boy, over here. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Lots different than, uh... Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... Sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Okay, were you gonna actually like, Where shall we begin? tell me anything? Give me anything? Like Well, when you do need something, yeah. I'll be around. So you literally were just like, oh hey, I just want to make sure Whoa. that you're you're good. Look, okay, cool. I'm I'm good. Let's see it, boy. What now? Hey. I hope we can find the binding one. <laughs> Apparently there's still something here. No match for us. and stuff. Does this now count as yes? Lore, mystic, favor, shop, only favor, only shop, interesting. Um... Yeah, there's a dragon over there, but uh, that should be the last dragon, because he said there's three dragons, and we've already freed two, so that would be the third dragon to free. I'm 
glad for you? If the Dwarf King captured more than one dragon, he must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, <laughs> even excrement. Excrement? Uh, shit. Dragon shit is powerful? I lad. Fortunately powerful. Dad <laughs> yeah. is having fun with you. Right, there's got to be birds in here somewhere, but uh, I've been trying to look every once in a while, but uh, birds are one of the things that I, I tend to forget about. something where I can go up there I don't think so because that's in the way yeah and this it doesn't, yeah won't let me drop it down that might be useful where to go they just go downstream? Oh, well, there it is. Um... So I didn't miss anything. As I... have to go look at a walkthrough later for the items and I missed, you know, two artifacts, a raven, and, you know, the dragon itself back there somehow. That's an impressive front door. Collect These materials cheese. must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Why would you trust the boy after his little, um... His fiasco. He went like straight batshit crazy. Now, rumor has it. Hey, look. A banana. Eel the banana. one right? I think this one's right. Oh god, that's so disturbing. Hmm.
Um, this is probably not a frost ancient. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got uh, this stuff unlocked now. Permanently oh. increases just stuff. You sure. Why is this one glowing? Oh, because I get my additional bonus for that. Um, whoops, I'm gonna go back. Oh, hey, there's a couple of them that I get bonuses for. Because I've reached the... Requires that runic power, runic power. This requires... Runic power. Apparently I've got a lot of runic power? I mean, I've got a lot of strength and defense, but like... What do these other ones require? Requires cooldown. Vitality. Vitality. Vi or runic. Runic. A lot of vitality. Nothing requires strength. Obviously not. Defense. Defense! Why does it want a different color than the rest? It's all just runic vitality. A lot of it's vitality. And a few cooldown things just for, like, charge stuff. Vitality seems to be a big one. That and Runic. Anyways, uh, weapon. This change to this. Goes to... How are you, Mr... Okay, here we go! Doubt that I can reach that. Can I? There's no way I'm getting back here. Um, I don't see any other. Oh, I need the uh, the crystal so that I can turn that into a bridge, and then I'd be able to run across and touch that. I see. Um, and then there's that. So I need to grab. This such a lazy puzzle. Come on, pick it up.
don't need to. Just ah, show them. This thing? No. There's gotta be like some combo that I'm going here. No. No. Huh. That combo just exists by accident. I like it though. And now that the, the, the blades are like powered up or whatever, they're actually kind of fun. Oops. And that did exactly what I thought it was going to do. And now I can grab this. Frost. Just like I thought. This. Run. Jump. Oops. Look at that. That was really hard. By really hard, I mean stupid easy. Ooh. Stone number two. This place is even bigger than Vathergard. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. Tis a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eker. The very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. Oh, shit, let's go. Dragon on the other side there? Oh, that's Oh! 
experience. I was concerned I was going to have enough. I could just start leveling up a bunch of his abilities just for the fuck of it. I've leveled up every single one of his skills already. I think I went through and leveled up... Yeah, I leveled up all of those. But who knows, maybe one of these would be good. Out of experience. Just a bunch of random new things open up. Um, so I can go one of two ways. It looks like this way actually leads to the treasure, whereas that one doesn't lead to anything. I think I'm wrong. So I want to say I saw something shiny over there. But, I can just grab up here. Perfect. And then we kick this down, but then walk back up. to find out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, please go look at dragon parts. Dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to be it. Yeah, I've been thinking that myself. Find more of these things and that down, you up. Anything else in here? Nope. That's one, that's two, and the other one is behind there. But I can probably... Or 
not. That worked. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do it, but it worked. Is that considered like a legendary chest? Because I opened that. remember what my axe thing did. Any successful? Okay. Um. Let's see. Can't go anywhere. I haven't been looking for ravens and so... This might be a little easier to go finding everything after I've cleared stuff out. Here Look here. Yes, sir. Um. You think I, I could this. do this? thing want this armor so badly. What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the Debate Grafica. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plague land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. If you say so. It's not my fault that I figured it out. Pretty obvious. Though it does kind of beg the question of like, you know, there's water coming down from there, there's water coming from there. Where is the water going? That was a, that was a pretty like rickety old, you know, piece of wood there that I broke.
Also, I have a lot of World Serpent scales. I'm just saying, that dude needs to stop shedding so much. Um, yes, sir. I see another crow. Enhancement, high perk addiction. Yeah, that doesn't really do me anything. Okay, so we freed all the dragons. We have not killed, oh my god, the five fucking ravens. Um, I'm guessing artifacts. The legendary chest, maybe, and maybe the the normal Nemor chests. Either that or realm tears. There's four okay. sides Here we go. to it, the circle, which is, you know, awkward. But there are four spots for for things. But there's only three? I mean, even then, you could probably do one, two, three, and then four. So the fact that it, you know, it's... Yeah, no, that just, that bugs me. <clears throat> huh. It's kind of run down in here. What did you expect? I don't know. Less ruin, I guess? Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Another one here. Star gather. Wow. That's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six? Seven? Eight? Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor cut him down to size. It's what he does. Like, Norse mythology has always been fairly brutal. And Oh, hey, that's nice. Um, actually, I have one right now that I could probably change that with. There. Yeah, no, it, like, Norse mythology has always been a bit dark. I mean, when you start getting into, like, the block and stuff like that, where, like, you know, hardcore human sacrifices and, like, nailing people to fucking trees and shit, like, and that's how you, you know, prevent the gods from just, like, slaughtering you. Like, when you have to, like, the human sacrifice has always been a little... No. 
What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Wow. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. But yeah, no, like, like everything. Like, Odin is a douche. Thor's a douche. Like, Marvel did a good job of, like, you know, trying to, like, make them less douchey. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hello! Okay. Fine. We can do this. Fuck that was you a guys. lot of hellwalkers. Hey, look at this. The blood trail. Rare blade pommels. Low prick elevation. Grant a health boost. Okay, no. Blood trail. Oh, yeah, there's a blood trail. Where's the passage behind this throne? A secret passage! Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. of the innocent. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They want... Oh, that is cool! It's made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. He's got a point. Um. So we're at an hour. Ooh, there's that. And there's a lot to do. Oop, there's a realm tear. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to, like, you know, finish this up. All right, so we will catch you in the next one.